President Luis Albinader has been directly and diligently instructed his government ministries to push out public works building and construction throughout uh, this year, 2023. Uh, we have seen infrastructure improvements in transportation, energy, economics, rail, telecommunication, education, health systems, sanitary systems, monetary systems, ports, airports, and agriculture here in the Dominican Republic. And today, I wanted to talk about the infrastructure improvements in the Dominican Republic right after this message. And welcome back to Dominican Rendezvous. I'm so happy that you have joined. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate all your subscriptions, all of those who are new subscribers. Please share the channel with others uh, who might have a like interest in things of the Dominican Republic. And if you make it to the end of the video, which I hope you do, that you would give it a thumbs up. That would be most appreciated. Again, thank you for joining. Today, I wanted to talk about infrastructure very quickly, very briefly. Uh, in the Dominican Republic. And it's only brought up um, on this particular video today because of a conversation that I had um, some time back a few years ago. And I remember back when uh, there was this YouTuber who I would watch uh, based out of Santo Domingo and Boca Chica. And he would often complain about how, quote, bad the infrastructure was in the Dominican Republic. And I remember at the time disagreeing with him in terms of his degrees of disdain and negativity about the infrastructure of the Dominican Republic. I recall saying to myself, if you don't like it, leave and don't let the plane door hit you on the backside on your way out. Thankfully, he, along with his negativity, left the Dominican Republic. And guess where he went? He went to Colombia. Okay, now, go figure. Because I read recently in a uh, U.S. News and World Report article that Colombia is basically, I think it was number 72 in terms of the overall uh, rating of infrastructure in the world. Dominican Republic was rated number 75, but in a different uh, way they looked at it in terms of the best overall, they said Colombia was 60 and the Dominican Republic was number 53. That was US News and World Report. Um, incidentally, the United States was fifth, uh, falling behind Germany, Singapore, China, Japan, and Korea. Now, I'll be the first to admit that no, the infrastructure in the Dominican Republic is not up to first world standards. And again, but let me say this, I also think that the United States is very far behind a lot of countries um, as well as as far as infrastructure and infrastructure uh, improvements. But yes, improvements in the Dominican Republic, let's just admit it, are welcomed and are needed but it is not as bad as some would have you believe. Let me say this, in the attempt to be balanced, fair, and objective, in order for there to be economic development and continued economic development in the Dominican Republic, there must be improved infrastructure, without which there is, listen, little to no impetus to alleviate the poverty in some of the poor areas throughout the Dominican Republic. The, the president and his administration, current administration, uh, Luis Albanador, has been directly uh, attacking the problem and he has been diligently instructing his government ministries to, to push out programs uh, for uh, public works, building and construction throughout this term of his presidency and throughout 2023. Now, I am not a spokesperson for the, for the PRM or the, uh, the ministry or the presidency of Luis Albanador, but it is obvious that if you do look around that there have been some improvements in the infrastructure in the uh, Dominican Republic. And that's just not me saying it, that's the things that are being reported. And if you drive around, walk around some of the areas, uh, you will notice it. He is trying to encourage greater um, innovation. He's trying to modernize and streamline any of the government burdens to, to duplication. He wants to really, really focus on infrastructure improvements 
because he understands that it is super important for faster growth and helping solve the poverty problem that is such a plague in the Dominican Republic. So we can only say that we hope and can, that and, and we pray that he continues to make the efforts that the, the Dominican people, the government, society will continue to focus on the improvements of uh, the infrastructure. No, it's not perfect. Uh, but then again, where in this world is perfect? Maybe there are places that are better, but there's certainly a whole lot of other places that are uh, quite uh, I'm not up to snuff and worse than you would find in the Dominican Republic. But we know that the better infrastructure provides better access to health care. It, it provides better access to jobs and education. I'm sorry, education and jobs. Um, it, it just improves the quality of life for for many people not only the citizens of the dominican republic but for those of us who are visitors or maybe long time uh residents uh, in the dominican republic so it is important that we talk about uh improvements in the inf in infrastructure we encourage improvements in the infrastructure uh, we talk about new buildings and new roads and new bridges and airports and airways and power supplies and power and energy sources water sanitation system telecommunications all of this is so important in building a strong, a vibrant economy and a country in the Dominican Republic. And so that's what I have to report today on infrastructure. If you like this, if you care to comment about the infrastructure in the Dominican Republic, please write a comment. Uh, we would love to read it. I appreciate any comments that you do send. Again, subscribe to the channel from me to you, Dominican Rendezvous. Mm -hmm.